Hey guys, it's Adam from Burberry Guitars, and I'm here with you for the Cigar Box Guitar Builder. It's about, what time is it? About 20 to 8 in the morning here, uh, in New South Wales, in good old Hazo, Hazelbrook. And I wanted to show you a little something. Um, Southern Fire Guitars, which is a fantastic little YouTube channel um, on the interwebs. Uh, there's a fella on there, I can't, Mike, it might be Mike, um, if it's not, please forgive me. Um, we have this great idea um, for taking the paper off cigar boxes, which you'd seen better days. Now, let me give you an example here. All right, so this old, this Monte Cristo box. Every now and again, ah, the mess. Every now and again, you get these horrible stickers, you know, like the anti-cancer things and things like that, which which go on them. And Or, you know, they might just be, the boxes might be really beaten up like that. The side of this box is a bit messy. Um, there's lots of talk about how to take the paper off. And people are talking about, oh, you know, we can heat it off or you can steam it off. Or heat is something which was just, and I've always wondered about that. How's the best way to get it off, you know? And, it, and he just said something so simple. I just sanded it off. All I did with this one, which basically looked like that, was sanded the crap out of it on this. And it needs a bit of a clean, don't it? <laughs> but hit, throwing it on the belt sand, it got the majority of all the gunk off it. And then I just did a gentle hand sand to get the rest off. Now I'm putting a, using some shellac to seal it. She'll get a couple of coats of shellac. Uh, and then I'm going to do my own thing with it. I'm going to put a nice trim on it, uh, as you guys might know. Um, uh, I like redressing uh, boxes uh, when they're like this and kind of beautifying them and making them look very pretty and sealing them. And uh, on this little this little thing, I'll just give you an idea of what I've had to do with this because it was just falling apart. But it is just it's lined out like it is. It's as strong as any box you'll find now. Um, but yeah, just a little tip. Uh, don't be afraid just to stick it on your belt sander um, and just sand the hell out of that paper. Just get it off. Um, it didn't hurt the box, didn't damage the box at all. Um, the box is only held together. Now, here's a little thing. This is a little point, okay, which comes down to framing out your boxes and making them strong. For yourself, for your family, friends, or if you're selling them for customers, okay, you need to frame these boxes out because the only thing that was holding this box together at all One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Screws on the top, uh, little nails, not even screws, just nails on the top. And then these tiny little things, these little tack nails on the sides, there's no glue holding these boxes together. So it's only the nails and the paper that they're wrapped in, which is actually holding these boxes together. So you have to, have to, have to frame them out or strengthen the corners or do something just to add to a little bit of uh, strength overall. All right, so little tips. Um, I'm going to get back to shellacking this thing and then uh, take the kids to school. Yay! And then it's uh, back to work at the shop. So all the best. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, please hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell. Um, also check out the podcast as well, the Cigar Wars Guitar Builder podcast. Uh, a lot of interviews coming up now. We're revamping the podcast and getting things happening again there. And uh, hopefully we'll catch you in the funny pages. All the best. Bye.